Welcome back to another video I have for you guys here today on Madden 21. Now today I made another roster and today's roster is compiled of players who went to Penn State. So I'm just going to be simulating this season just to see how they play. They're probably not going to do too well because the team's a 74 overall only. Um, but I used to do this in the past and then I stopped for a while and then I started it back up again and then I stopped for a while and now I'm here again. So I think the issue with my older videos in this kind of format was that I kept going three seasons and drafting was just very monotonous and annoying trying to go through the entire draft board to find players who went to the specific college uh, so instead now i'm just gonna do one season with these teams i'm not sure how many more of these uh, kind of videos i'll do but i guess let me know in the comments what other colleges you'd like to see next i'm doing penn state first just because i went to penn state i'm a fan of penn state and we are the eagles you know just because it's a team from pennsylvania i don't know um but anyway the team is a 74 overall 75 offense 73 defense but honestly it doesn't matter who else we have other than trace mcsorley right 55 overall um, but that's not true, right? He plays like a 99. He's the goat. He's insane. Um, he actually threw his first touchdown pass recently. That was pretty cool to see. Uh, but Trace McSorley, in all actuality, doesn't have good stats at all. Um, but, you know, he's kind of fast. I mean, I guess there's that. Maybe he can play kind of well because he has a pretty decent supporting cast if you just don't talk about the offensive line. But of course, at running back, we have Saquon Barkley and we have Miles Sanders. Miles Sanders has number 26 because, of course, I never traded him at all. Like, he's already on the Eagles. So he has number 26. I'm keeping it that way. All right. Saquon Barkley is going to take Brian Westbrook's number, I guess, at 36. I'm currently wearing a Saquon Barkley jersey from Penn State. Um, I don't know if you guys can even really see it, but I usually wear this in uh, my Giants franchise, you know, because of him. But anyway, let's move on to the wide receivers where we actually have a really good group, at least a really good duo. Allen Robinson and Chris Godwin, both very good receivers. And then we have KJ Hamler, Deshaun Hamilton, and then we have Dan Chisena. Chisena? I don't even know who this is, if I'm being completely honest. He's a 60 overall. <laughs> He's really not too good, but it doesn't really matter. The top four receivers, um, well, actually, specifically the top two are amazing. And then the next two aren't too bad either. So KJ Hamler is going to be the three. Allen Robinson, the one. Chris Godwin, the two. I think I'm going to have Chris Godwin be the slot as well, just to get as much production out of uh, one of these top two guys as possible. The offensive line is not good, and I could not find a center from Penn State. So I just moved uh, Isaac Samalo over to center. I don't think it's going to help or hurt this team that much. I actually didn't even change his position. It doesn't really matter. I'll change it now, I guess. I don't really think it would have made a difference, though. Okay, so Mookie interrupted me. And she's on my bed now. So say hi to Mookie in the comments. I don't know. Leave a like on the video if you like Mookie. Uh, but anyway, I was saying uh, Mike Kosicki is very good. He's an 85 overall tight end. Star development. He should be a really good option for Trace McSorley to throw the ball to. And then defensively, I guess I'll start out in the secondary. Adrian Amos is this team's strong safety. We have Jordan Lucas at free safety. Uh, we have a couple different players I could play at free safety, but Jordan Lucas is the best. Amani Orarie is the number one cornerback. Trevor Williams, the two. Grant Haley, the three. And then John Reed, the number four cornerback. Also, if you hear Mookie breathing in the background, I apologize. She is quite a heavy breather, but she's just trying to get comfortable. And if you hear her collar moving around, I apologize for that as well. But on the defensive line, we have Yitzhak Gross Matos at right end. We have Cameron Wake starting at left end, and then Daquan Jones and Austin Johnson at defensive tackle. Also, a very short story about Robert Windsor. So he actually used to live like right next to me when I went to Penn State. One of my apartments, I had my first apartment up at Penn State. He lived very close to me. He was like three apartments away. And the one time I was walking back from class, his dog was chilling outside. I think it might have actually been his girlfriend's dog, the more I think about it, but it doesn't really matter. I pet his dog, okay? I'm just saying, not trying to brag, but uh, I pet a dog that Robert Windsor has also pet. So, I mean, just saying. He was probably shaking, right, in the presence of such a YouTube superstar like myself. <laughs> but uh, anyway, it was just a pretty interesting experience. I didn't even really know who he was up until that point. I just knew he was like a really big dude. And then I realized he was on the football team. I was like, wow, that's pretty cool. And then he got drafted. I was like, well, that's even cooler because I pet his dog. Anyway, that's a really long story about that. Um, on special teams, we have Robbie Gould and Blake Gilligan. Another random story. I just saw Blake Gilligan a couple times at school. I think he also lived sort of close to me. And I'd see him walking around all the time. He was just a very regular looking dude. And it was just kind of funny that... Uh, now he's in the NFL, even though you're just like, you know, regular looking guy, just walking to class doing his thing. Anyway, though, <laughs> we will now get into the simulation portion. I'm probably going to hop into a few of these games, play some of the moments. You know how it goes. I actually just realized that I don't think I went over the linebackers, but we have Sean Lee, we have Jason Kabinda, and we have Cam Brown starting at those positions. So now I will begin the simulation. I went to the midseason to start things off, and then I'll probably hop into this next game there against uh, the Giants. But the team right now is one in seven. All right. 
I didn't expect to win like any games. So the fact that we won one already is a little bit surprising to me actually, but let's hop into the moments of this game against the Giants. I'll probably play the moments of this one and then I'll also play the moments of the game against the Browns and then we can just go straight to the end of the season. Uh, but let's see if we can at least take down one of these two teams. Hopefully I can toss a couple touchdowns, run a couple in with Saquon. But of course, if you watch my Snowhawks franchise and if you watch my Giants franchise, um, you should be pretty accustomed to Trace McSorley and Saquon Barkley scoring. Maybe not Trace McSorley as much because I kind of suck with him in that franchise. We also just replaced him. But regardless, I'm rambling. I don't know why. Uh, let's just hop straight into this one here. Okay, boys, we are in the red zone. Let's go. We have a bunch of good receivers out on the field. Allen Robinson, Chris Godwin. Mookie's moving around. What are you doing, Mookie? Why are you looking outside? I don't think she understands how the window works. Oh, she left. Where are you going? Chris Godwin's going to be open across the middle of the field. There we go. There's a gain of about nine. Also, Mookie made a very short cameo. She is gone. She left my room. She wanted to look out the window. She couldn't figure it out. So she kind of just got frustrated, I guess, and then left. <laughs> anyway, first down and goal. We're going to run the ball up the middle. Saquon Barkley, number 36. That is the weirdest looking thing. Uh, whatever. He still scores a touchdown. All right. So we are now back on offense once again. Uh, the Giants scored. They only got a field goal, though. It's third down and six. I'm going to go with slants, I think. Chris Godwin potentially across the middle of the field. Think he make that catch? Well, he probably could have. Trace McSorley just can't make the throw. But you know what? We're going for it. Fourth down and six. Allen Robinson across the middle of the field, or maybe Chris Godwin. Let's see. Oh, no. Saquon, I guess. Saquon Barkley is going to make that catch. Let's go. He's going to accelerate for the first down. Juke by a defender as well. That was a great play by Saquon. Way to go, Trace McSorley, to at least, you know, get to the outside. He didn't really buy his receiver any time. Saquon was open that whole way. Um, but at least Trace McSorley didn't take a sack. Allen Robinson is going to make the grab. Let's go. That was a good ball by Trace McSorley as well. And Allen Robinson just goes up for it. All right, we're taking over in the red zone once again here. I might streak Allen Robinson one more time. If it's a one-on-one, -on -one, I'm throwing this up. It's not necessarily a one-on-one. -on -one. Circle potentially. It's Chris Godwin. He's going to make that catch. Good route by him. Mike Gesicki is wide open. This should be a touchdown. Let's go, Mike Gesicki. Got so much separation there. Didn't really have to do anything like fancy after the catch or anything like that. Uh, he was just wide open for a walk-in touchdown. Dude, the defense is kind of locking up here. We're back out on offense. See if we can maybe have Allen Robinson across the middle of the field here. If I wait a little bit, I think he's going to be open. Allen Robinson's open now. He's going to make that catch. What a grab. Not the best throw by Trace McSorley, but at least he has one of the best receivers in the NFL to make that grab. Allen Robinson again is going to make an insane catch in the end zone. Oh my, Allen Robinson is nuts. I oh know the Giants are actually coming back and I really haven't gotten any uh, defensive moments this game. But we are back out on offense and we have a chance to kind of put this game away. If we can just get a couple first downs potentially. Saquon, you have to go big here. Saquon Barkley can't juke out that defender. He's going to lose two yards, I believe. Second down and 12. I feel like we should probably pass this to try to get the first down. But I also kind of want them to use their timeouts. Actually, I'm going to run this before the two minute warning. Get the snap off. We can get a lot of yards here. There we go. Saquon Barkley has that first down and a lot more. Let's go, Saquon. I don't know what defense they were going with there, but it did not work at all. Oh, it's going to be a fumble. No way Saquon just fumbled. Okay. Really? Xavier McKinney is going to pick it up. Saquon, come on, man. You're the best player on this team. A screen pass. I am getting blocked, though. No way. Devontae Freeman is going to make the catch. And then he's ran out of bounds. Okay, I was forced to take a timeout. I was in a really bad defense. And if they kept hurrying up like they were doing, uh, they probably would have scored in like three plays. So, <laughs> it's now first and ten. And I only have two timeouts left. I think that's fine, though. Evan Ingram is going to make that catch and then go out of bounds. They are kind of driving down the field here. I don't like this. I'm going to blitz off this right side. I'm good with this. Let's see if we can force Daniel Jones into something stupid. We're not going to be able to. He's going to complete that pass to his tight end. But is that enough for the first down? It was enough for the first down. Man, now we're going to blitz. Oh, you're wide open. Okay. Just nobody was covering Golden Tate, I guess. <laughs> That's fine. Allen Robinson is so good, man. He got so much separation off that release. I'm going to hurry up and try to call another play before we have to take a timeout. We have Saquon open here underneath. I'm going to get out of bounds. And we have 21 seconds left with two timeouts at the 50-yard line. We could still do this. Allen Robinson is going to make a huge catch. Let's go. We're going to take a timeout. We're at the 28-yard line now. We can certainly still do this. We just have to rely on one of our top receivers or maybe Mike Kosicki here. Okay, we only have 10 seconds left. 
Trace McSorley threw an incomplete pass on the play before. Let's see if we have anybody open here. We're going to have Saquon open, I think. And he can't make that grab. No way. Allen Robinson was also open. Oh, man. That could have been it right there, man. If I had thrown it to Allen Robinson, that might have actually been it. All right. Well, now there's six seconds left. We kind of just have to bank on Allen Robinson doing something crazy. And there's certainly a chance for that. Here we go. The throw was up. Allen Robinson's not going to be able to make the catch because that throw was awful. And that's an interception to end this game. You know, it's very unfortunate that Saquon fumbled, but it's all right, man. Uh, hopefully we can win next week against the Browns, but I'll see you guys in that game. Allen Robinson again, maybe? No, he's actually going to be interfered with. So we will get the ball at the one yard line. And there should be another touchdown in the video for Saquon Barkley. Let's give him a handoff. The blocking is good enough. Saquon Barkley will pick up that touchdown. We also ended up with some kind of turnover. So now it's second down and 10. And uh, Richard Rodgers is in, which isn't great because he didn't go to Penn State. It's fine. Circle's going to be wide open. It's Mike Kosicki. He is going to make that catch and pick up that first down. There we go. That got caught by Allen Robinson. How did that pass get completed? I was trying to throw that to KJ Hamler. And then Trace McSorley got hit while he was throwing the ball. That's insane. Um, I'm going to go for another run play here to Saquon. one. See if he can pick up another touchdown. No, somebody got through immediately. They blitzed the safeties. Grant Delpit, I think, was the one who got back there. And now it's third and goal at the two-yard line. Let's come out in a pass and probably audible. Actually, I kind of feel like this is going to be a blitz, so I'm going to keep this pass. It is a blitz. Allen Robinson is open in the back of the end zone. That's going to be a nice and easy touchdown for him. I don't know what the defense is doing right now, but we got another turnover. So we have the ball again in the red zone. And Saquon has a wide open lane. Let's go. Saquon Barkley's going to juke to the outside. And he actually almost picked up that touchdown. That would have been a crazy piece of running. The fact that he actually almost scored that was insane. Uh, but here we should have Chris Godwin open for the touchdown. Just Trace McSorley. Fire. Touchdown to Chris Godwin. There we go. We're up 21 to nothing on the Browns. How is this happening? All right. So the Browns actually scored two touchdowns there. We scored another one. Um, that wasn't even me as well. It was the computer. But we are back out on the field now. Third down and six, looking for Chris Godwin or Allen Robinson. Allen Robinson, I think, is open. And he can't make that grab. Not the best throw by Trace McSorley. I would have liked that more to the sideline. That's fine, though. Maybe try to find Mike Asicki here. If those linebackers blitz, they're not blitzing. I'm just going to try to roll out, I guess. Circle, maybe? That's a good catch there by KJ Hamler. Okay, I think he's going to pick up that uh, first down. No, it's actually third and inches. He got very close, though. Okay, third down and inches. I'm going to go with a quarterback draw to Trace McSorley. Let's see what he can do. Just block a little bit here. No, the blocking really isn't there, but did he pick up that first down? I don't think he got it. No, it's fourth and inches, man. No way. We have to go for this, though. Fullback dive to Jesse James, the tight end playing fullback. Why not? This should be a first down. This play is usually really successful. And Jesse James does have the first down, but he fumbles. He gets destroyed. Okay, well, now they have the ball at the two-yard line. And somehow, once again, we got another turnover. What is happening? Also, I didn't really mean to go five wide, but it's fine. I was going to throw it to Mike Kosicki, but for some reason the throw never went off. Like, I hit X immediately because he looked open. But Trace McSorley just never threw the pass. I tried to fit that one into Allen Robinson, but the safety got there in time. All right. Well, we will settle uh, for the field goal here. Robbie Gould should be able to make this. The Browns actually just took the lead. Okay. I still have not been able to really do much on defense. This is kind of a weird game. But we have the ball third down and one. Three minutes left. Allen Robinson potentially on the outside. He's actually not super open. Uh, just throw this one away for now. That could be roughing the passer. I threw it away on third down and one because we could have still taken the field goal, obviously. That is going to be roughing the passer. That is huge. Thank you so much, Miles Garrett. That helps me out a lot. All right, Saquon Barkley is going to pick up a good bit there. He got seven. And now it is uh, third down and goal from the three. I really want to score a touchdown here. I don't want to just take a field goal. Mike Kosicki. Mike Kosicki's open, and he's going to score that touchdown. That was huge. Let's go. All right, so we are out on defense, finally, for potentially the last drive of the game. Let's see. Come on. Can we make a play? We've already had so many turnovers today. Can we make another one? We actually can. He fumble. Pick it up. No way. That would have been huge if we could have picked up that fumble. Baker Mayfield has four interceptions. <laughs> okay. Fourth down and nine. We just need to make this stop, and we can win this game.
No way this gets completed. Swatted away. Let's go. What a play by the defensive back. I don't even know who that was. That was huge. And we are going to win that game. Let's go. I can't believe we took down the Browns. All right, so here we are at the end of the season. Of course, the team did not make the playoffs, but they finished 2-14. and 14. Okay, so they lost every other game after that one against the Browns. So, Trace McSorley, 3,700 yards, about 3,800, 26 touchdowns, 14 interceptions. Not that bad of a year considering his overall. So, he definitely played a lot better than I thought he was going to. Saquon Barkley, 1,100 yards, 9 touchdowns, 4 fumbles, though. Receiving, Allen Robinson was actually very good. Chris Godwin was also really good. Mike Kosicki had 7 touchdowns. All right, all those guys doing super well. Uh, the tackle duo was probably awful. Actually, Donovan Smith wasn't too bad, but Ryan Bates wasn't great. And then defensively, 125 tackles for uh, Jason Kambinda. And then we have 16 tackles for loss for Cameron Wake, 14 for Jack Crawford. Sacks, we have four and a half for Cam Wake, four and a half for Jack Crawford as well. And then interceptions, three for Sean Lee, two for Yeter Gross Matos. How did he get two? Two for <laughs> Jordan Lucas. Craven LeBlanc got two. All right, he didn't even play all that much. This is kind of crazy. He got two picks. Jason Cabinda, Cam Brown, Amani Orarier, and then Adrian Amos all got one. All right, so I don't think we're going to be in any of those awards or anything like that, so I'm just going to skip by that whole section. Let's go straight to the Super Bowl, and let's see who the Super Bowl is going to be between, and then also we can check out development trade upgrades and all that good stuff. So, the Ravens and the 49ers will be in the Super Bowl. Hopefully, the power doesn't go out again um, in that game. 27-20, to 20, the 49ers are going to win. All right, well, let's quickly check out the development trade upgrades and just how the team has been upgrading in general. So, on the offense, I don't believe anyone is up in development trade. Um, but you know, the team progressed okay, I guess. They're up to a 76, almost an 80 offense, so that's kind of cool. Defensively, Jason Kambinda is probably up. Yeah, so is Cam Brown. Okay, that's what I figured. No one else, I don't think, is up in uh, development trait, though. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this one, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. This is where every step you take is to or die. Where